second grade. How's it going? It's Miss Street. Hope you guys are doing great today. I'm ready to start subitizing with you. And uh, if I remember correctly, I think we are um, looking at, I have um, this many, uh, like within nine, like it might say I have nine, but I only have this on one card. What do I need on the other card? And so Miss Street's got us some cool music to do this to. So let's get ready to subitize and then we're gonna get into some more geometry. I'm excited, thanks for joining me. Oh dear, my hanger fell over. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let me get my music started first. That's a good beat, isn't it? Can you see that? Yeah, I have two cards that total six. What is the value of the missing card? That's what I have. What'd you say? One. cards that total four. What is the missing card? One. Good. Oh, another four because we can see four different ways. What's missing? Three. Five again. What's missing? Four. One more. Six. What's the value of the missing card? We have three, three, good job. All right, let me get that stopped. And then we are going to move on into geometry. Um, and today's gonna be the last day that we talk about this standard. We are actually, um, second, we are actually um, gonna be moving on into time next week. And I have a special surprise for you guys. Um, two of my dearest, bestest friends and co-workers, Miss Katie Carter, I call her Katie of the Carter family, and Miss Victoria Taylor are going to be um, working with you guys on um, your second grade math next week. They're gonna be making some videos for Miss Street, um, helping me out some, which is very, cool and they're like the best teachers ever so um we won't have facebook live tomorrow because it's good friday um and we won't have it monday because it is um, a teacher work day but we will start back tuesday and miss carter and miss taylor are going to be with you guys on tuesday and they're going to start with um telling time on the clock so um, and what we do here today, especially with our circles, um, that's very important and um, that's gonna help you a lot with your clocks, okay? So just to recap, in second grade, you guys are partitioning circles and rectangles into two, three, and four equal shares. So words that we use are halves, thirds, fourths, Phrases that we use, which phrases is just um, a, a, more than one word, is half of, third of, fourth of. So we've been um, working on things. Miss Street made a pizza the other day, and I showed you uh, what it what it looked like when we partitioned it into four different ways. Um, and yesterday we really talked a lot about thirds because thirds, especially in a circle, can be difficult. So I wanna show you one more time what Miss Street did yesterday because when we think about circles, we need to always be thinking about um, what I'm getting ready to show you. So yesterday, Miss Street showed you um, how I took some string that Zeb, um, this is something he uses to hunt with, I guess, him and Brian. So I'm gonna take a piece of string and I'm gonna go around the circle the best I can. It might not be perfect, but I'm gonna try. Okay, I hope you can see that. Okay, and then um, 
So I've kind of traced the circle with my string. Then I'm going to try to cut it right where it meets here. Okay, so now I have um, my circle. Now, when you're partitioning a circle on a piece of paper, you can't, um, you can't take the string and just, um, or you can't, take the circle like apart on the paper but what Miss Street wants to show you is we need to think of a circle too as linear um, because when we have a straight line we can see how we can divide it into thirds it's just as easy almost as dividing a rectangle into thirds so um, and another thing Miss Street pointed out yesterday was a lot of times the way Miss Street learned to partition circles was like to do an upside down Y or a peace sign, something to that effect. And yeah, that kind of gets me thirds, but I never un even understood what I was doing when I did that. So Miss Street's all about nicks in the tricks, no upside down Y, no peace sign. Um, but we really need to think about um, what this circle means to be divided into or partitioned into three equal shares. So like I said, I've taken this string and Miss Street encourages you to draw a circle at home. If you have yarn or string, um, anything you can find to wrap around that circle that you drew and cut it. Uh, Miss Street just found some, um, this is what we call washi tape. I don't know, if you have tape at your house, you can kind of partition the, the string into thirds. And I'll show you how that helps you see um, when we lay it back on top of our circle, how to divide or partition our circle into three equal shares. Cause that's really hard to do with a circle. Miss Street thinks it is. It always was very hard for me. Um, so I'm gonna take this piece of tape and I'm gonna kind of use my eyeball judging Heels. And I think um, a third, I might have misjudged that, but you know, let's look, it's okay. I can take the tape off. Mm, yeah, I think I misjudged just a little bit. So I might take this piece off. So what I'm looking at is trying to make the lengths three equal lengths, okay? So I'm gonna take that one off. I'm gonna try again, because it's okay not to get it right the first time. I know that's hard for some people, but it's okay. Miss Street's all about making mistakes and learning from it. So I'm trying to really think. That looks like thirds to Miss Street almost. So this is one third of my length of string, which goes around my circle. Um, this is one third and this is one third. So this is a third of the whole string. This is a third of the whole string. And this is a third of the whole string. So what Miss Street's gonna do now, I hope I can do better than I did yesterday. I'm gonna pull this up, try to keep it, the tape on it, and I'm gonna put the tape, I'm gonna join the tape together right there. And then I'm gonna lift this one up. Well, I pulled up some paper on that, but that's okay. And I'm going to tape it right there. Then I'm gonna bring around my two corners, or my two ends, sorry, and I'm gonna tape those together. Here we go. See if I can get it to pull up this way. This one's harder to do, I should have. Maybe, did Miss Street do it? I don't know. Yeah, she did, good job, woohoo! So now when I lay this back down around my circle, I hope it matches up, it does, thank the good Lord. Um, I can see where my thirds actually are. I can't get it on there perfect, but I'm trying. So I can see how I need to divide my circle into thirds rather than just saying draw an upside down Y or draw a peace sign. So um, mix the tricks, that's what I say. So um, here we're gonna say, okay, well I'm gonna start here at this point. 
I'm gonna come down, and then I'm gonna draw a line over to this point, and then I'm gonna draw a line over to this point. But what I can really see here is that this is one third, this is one third, and this is one third of my circle. I hope, hope, hope that you understand that and that you can practice that over the weekend that you have. Um, that's really, really, really important to know about circles, okay? So um, what else we're gonna do today is divide our rectangle in two thirds. And um, you know, sometimes uh, teachers, as teachers we use, we would cut this circle out and we would say, we'll fold it over, um, not halfway, but to the halfway point and then fold this side over to the halfway point and that would give you thirds and that really does work. Um, but Miss Street's just gonna try to use her eyeball judgment, which if you know Miss Street, I only have one good eyeball. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to divide it into, I don't know. Um, it's a tricky process. If I make my line just a little bit bolder. Okay, um, let me show you with this piece of paper too what I was talking about. So this piece of paper is like a big rectangle. So if I take this side and fold it over to about halfway of what's here, Okay, and then I take this side and fold it over to the crease I just made in the other side. Then I can see thirds, and so you can see it really good. I will highlight the crease in black. So that's a way you can divide into thirds, okay? Um, so, we also um, talked a lot about, and this is huge, Miss Street's got to hurry. We talked a lot about um, the rectangles and how we partition into different and in different ways. And um, I wanna show you some of the ways we did that. So when I fixed my pizza the other day, if you remember, um, I cut my pizza down the middle, halfway down the middle, and then, I wanted to cut it into four equal parts. So I cut one half this way and the other half I cut this way. And we could also do it uh, where we cut one half this way and one um, part diagonal because um, being an equal share means that you have the same area. It doesn't mean they have to be the same shape, okay? So our next task is to um, these are three rectangular cakes. I know, right? They look like really good cakes. So um, we're gonna take each rectangle though and partition it into fourths. And the key here is we need to do this in three different ways. So one way I can do this is I'm gonna divide it in half. I'm doing my best. And then that way, so I have one, two, three, four. Um, another way I can do this is I can go, I wanna try something I did here. I wanna go maybe diagonal. So I'm gonna go, Lord, I don't know if I can do this right, but it's okay. Ooh, there I go, diagonal. Diagonal, do you see that? So that's one, two, three, four. Our, um, again, Miss Street wants to study this one, okay? Because I, I want to study this one. Um, but the next one we do, we can do, um, like I did my pizza, we can do it halfway, and I'm gonna divide this half this way, and this half, this way and you know what I can do because I'm not I feel like I might have messed up on this one it's okay I can show another way um, so I'm gonna come down here and draw another rectangle just in case because I want to be sure I make three different ways and I'm going to divide it or partition it um, I'm gonna partition it like this so I did it half 
I'm gonna partition this way, and then I'm gonna partition this way. So I have one, two, three, four. Remember, when you're partitioning into fourths, what matters are equal shares. What matters is that the area is the same. So I guarantee you, uh, second graders, which is, this is third grade, but if we took the area of this rectangle and the area of this rectangle, um, I bet they would be exactly the same because uh, equal shares means they have the same area, not the same shape. So boys and girls, thank you so much. And parents and teachers, um, I won't see you tomorrow. It's Good Friday and Monday's a teacher work day. But on Tuesday, don't forget to tune in for Miss Katie Carter and Victoria Taylor, second grade teachers at Glenwood Elementary. They're going to start with telling time. I hope you guys have the best weekend ever, and I'll see you soon.